What's up everyone and welcome to the third and final video on the I Wanna Burn Fat full body routine. For those that don't know, in my first YouTube video I gave away a 3 day full body program and walked you through day 1. And a few weeks ago I also posted day 2 of the full body routine. So now it's time to cover the third and last full body day. Compared to the first two full body days, this full body day is focused a bit more on the legs by having three leg exercises that are prioritized by doing them at the start of the training session. I will walk you through every single exercise and the form so that you can take this video with you to the gym and execute the workout properly on your own. But before we get into things, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because I got some cool stuff coming up for the summer and I'd hate for you to miss out. Now without any further ado, let's get into the exercises. First we have the back squat. This is the second time in this routine that we use the barbell back squat, simply because it's one of the most effective exercises for targeting your lower body. I have discussed earlier that during the back squat it's a good idea to focus on keeping a straight bar path. This prevents you from falling forward or backward. An additional tip I want to give today is to focus on keeping a tripod foot positioning while you do the barbell back squat. You want your heels and the two upper sides of your feet to be planted firmly on the ground. This ensures you can apply maximum force into the ground and create a stable base. Due to limited ankle mobility, some people struggle with keeping their heels on the floor. Something that can help is squatting with elevated feet. You can use small plates or squat shoes to accomplish this. The next exercise is the Romanian deadlift. Since you keep your legs mostly straight during the Romanian deadlift, your quadriceps cannot assist you in this movement. So your glutes and hamstrings need to take over and get trained effectively during this exercise. Because the strong quadricep muscles cannot assist you in the Romanian deadlift, you'll find that you can't use as much weight on the Romanian compared to conventional deadlift. About the form, you basically want to push your hips back as far as possible while keeping a consistent slight bend at your knees. As soon as your hamstrings are fully stretched, you can track back up. The barbell doesn't have to touch the ground with this movement. The next movement is the barbell bench press. As discussed briefly in video 1, with the bench press you want to have 4 points of contact. The back of your head, your shoulder blades and butts should touch the bench, and your feet should be planted firmly on the ground. When you press the weights, you want your elbows to be slightly tucked in to reduce the strain on your shoulder joint. An easy way to accomplish this is by focusing on lowering the bar towards your lower chest. When you do this, your elbows will automatically have to tuck in and you press from a more stable base. Lastly, when it comes to your wrists, be sure you place the bar low in your hands and not on top of your fingers. This prevents your wrist from overly bending backwards. The next exercise is the seated cable row. This exercise is quite intuitive for most people. While keeping your chest up, you pull the weight towards your abdominal region. To ensure your back muscles do most of the work, focus on pulling via your elbows and see your hands merely as hooks. I suggest you use the feet bar grip with the CD cable row. This focuses slightly more on training your lats, but you can experiment with different grips if you'd like. If you want to focus more on training your upper back, then using a wide grip attachment and pulling the weight towards your upper abs or lower chest area is worth experimenting with. The fifth exercise in this full body workout is the face pull. In my last video I already discussed the benefits of doing face pulls, so I'll jump into the form immediately now. We first need to start with setting the cable at an appropriate height. Anywhere from upper chest height to eye level is appropriate in most cases. From there on, you grab the rope attachment with a neutral grip in which your thumbs point towards you. After this, you basically pull the rope back to your face and end in a front double bicep position. And the last exercise in this routine is the standing calf raise. As you may have experienced yourself, the calves can be pretty stubborn in terms of muscle growth. And this is something I've been struggling myself with as well. But I have been able to try a few different training techniques that have produced some uh, beneficial effects. And that's what I want to share with you today. First, it's important to know that the Achilles tendon that attaches to your calves is strong and can store a lot of elastic energy. If you bounce the weight on calf raise exercises, much of the work will come from your Achilles heel and your calves won't benefit from this. Therefore, it's a good idea to perform your calf raises slowly. Try having a 1-2 second pause at the bottom of every rep. This helps your calves take on more of the lift. And that's all for this full body workout and the 3 day full body routine series. To make all of the workouts organized for you, I'll put together a playlist in which you can find all of the 3 full body sessions. In the link in the description you can of course also find the PDF with uh, all of the workouts and yeah definitely be on the lookout for more relevant training and nutrition videos coming up in this summer now that i'm done with this full body routine uh, series i can focus more on just informative content so if you have any suggestions on topic you would like to see me speak about then definitely leave them in the comment section below and yeah i hope you have a great rest of your day and until the next video